Hello, I'm Simon from Acorns and I'm going to talk to you today about counting. Uh, now counting is one of the first skills that children uh, learn at school and there are lots of things that you can do at home to support your child with their, with their counting. Um, it doesn't have to be difficult, you don't need lots of um, resources, you can just use things that you have um, lying around the home. So uh, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you are counting out loud as often as you possibly can, which means counting forwards and counting backwards, um, singing counting songs, and just helping children to uh, remember the number names in the correct order. Um, one of the great things you can choose to count is uh, any collections that children have made. Um, I know that children uh, love to collect things, um, and so you can use their collections as a good opportunity um, for some counting. I've got a little collection of my own here, which I thought might serve as a useful uh, example. So this is my little collection of cars, and I've got one stuck in the box, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the pink one to finish, ten cards. So there are my ten cards. And when you're counting with your child, um, it's best to start with, uh, with ten objects or less. Children often count too quickly, um, they miss out numbers, and so what we ask children to do is we ask children to touch each object as they count, and this helps them to understand that um, they need to say one number per object. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after they've counted the last object, um, you need to ask them to say the name of the item that they are counting. And that helps them to understand that um, the last number that they say uh, is how many objects are in the group. So, um, eight, nine, ten cars. Let's see. So, we also encourage children to put them in a line to make sure that they are only counting each number once. If I muddle them all up, then I can count them again. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve! Ah. But if I put them in a line, then it's much easier to make sure that I've just counted each of the cars one time. Now, once they have counted them in a line from left to right, you can ask them to count them from right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can ask them to model them up and count them again. And when you repeat this a number of times, it will help them realise that there are the same amount of objects no matter where they start counting from. And that the number of objects only changes if you are adding or removing some. So that's just a, a really um, short introduction to counting with, with, with cars, but there are endless opportunities to count things as you go about your day. Um, you can count anything that you can touch, anything that you can see, anything that you can hear. So you can count socks, or toys, or birds, or cars, or footsteps. The most important thing is to keep counting and to make it fun. If your children are comfortable counting to 10, move on to 20. If your children are comfortable counting to 20, keep going, work with bigger numbers. Count forwards and backwards in twos. Count forwards and backwards in tens. Count forwards and backwards in hundreds. The most important thing is make it fun and keep counting.